New tonight, San Diego is playing a big part in NASA's next mission to the moon called Artemis 2. The first test capsule in the mission was recovered near San Diego's coast, and the second test capsule is being put to the test here now. Our Brian White gets up close to a little bit of space travel history in the making. Last time I got to see a piece of history when the Orion capsule from Artemis 1 was brought right here to Naval Base San Diego. And this time I get to see a piece of future history, the test module for Artemis 2. And it feels really special to be here. It was special to, uh, to be a part of this. You know, it's, it's a history making event is what I, what I told the crew. The first capsule recovery test for the Artemis II mission right here off our San Diego coast was successful. And for the crews involved, it was special. There were a few moments there when they were making the countdown to, to capsule splashdown where you could really kind of feel uh, how, uh, how it would feel if the if Orion was coming back. We're getting our first look here at what's called the crew module test article or nicknamed Vader. It has an internal cabin to simulate an actual space capsule with a crew inside of it. Nothing goes the same out there. You know, everything's different. Ryan Kreider was the command master diver for Artemis 1. For this next mission, they're faced with the challenge of extracting four astronauts from the capsule. We begin to inflate a, it's called a front porch. Um, basically, it's just a big inflatable uh, that we put all the astronauts on. We pull it off to a, a safe location, and that's where the helo will come in and, and extract them. With a full training workup and capsule recovery now under their belt, NASA crew members are feeling confident they're ready for the next phase of training. It was really exciting. Uh, this, this is a big complex operation. Everybody was just wonderful. And um, this is a, a once in a lifetime experience to be out in the water um, and doing what we do. Lily Villarreal is NASA's landing and recovery director. And for her, being a part of history is surreal. Yesterday, we were like, we did it. We, we met all our objectives. We were successful. And we're, it hasn't hit me yet. You know, I think tomorrow it will. The Artemis II mission is scheduled to launch in November of 2024 at Naval Base San Diego. I'm Brian White for CBS 8.